so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this soft body hair particle animation in the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and this video will be divided into the three parts so first we'll do modeling second we will add this uh, soft body simulation and third and final will add the hair particle and render this okay so now let's start the tutorial so first of all i'm just going to open my blender and so here you can see guys this is my project file and that is the same animation which is i have shown you before here you can see that is the animation so yeah something like that okay so here you can see so now i'm just going to start a new file so i'm just going to click new and generate and i'm just going to do save file so here you can see guys here we have one brand new scene so first of all i'm just going to enable my screencast key so you can easily see which key i'm pressing so here you can see on the left side you can see whatever key i'm pressing you can see from the left side so first of all i'm just going to make a stair so for making the stair i will use this default cube so first of all i'm just going to edit mode of this cube now i'm just going to delete some faces of this cube so i'm just going to delete uh, some faces of this cube from the here yeah and i'm just going to press the delete by faces yeah that's look now we have a uh, left only two faces so i'm just going to select the all two faces and then after that i'm just going to press the s then i'm going to press the y so here you can see i'm just going to scale this in on a y axis we can do once more yeah that's look fine and after that i'm just going to add the one modifier it's called array modifier so i'm just going to uh, set this array modifier to minus one from the here and I'm just going to add the one on the Z axis. So here you can see that look fine. Now we can increase the number of count, whatever count you need it. So now I'm just going to take a 10 count from the here. Yeah, that's look fine. And after that, I'm just going to make uh, add one plane here. And I'm just going to scale this plane something like that. And I will add one cube as well. So I'm just going to scale this cube something like that. I'm just going to scale this cube something as well. Yeah, that's look fine. And we can move this cube from here to here. Yeah. Then we can go to the edit mode of this uh, cube and we can select the top face. Then we can move it to upside something like that. Okay. And we can little bit scale it so we get the good thickness. Yeah, that's look fine okay and we can do one more thing we can just uh, go to the edit mode of this cube then we can just uh, do extrude once something like that and after that we can extrude this part from the here and try to match this stair to the with this wall so that's look fine i think okay so our basic scene setup is ready okay here you can see so now i'm just going to add the one icosphere, sphere okay from the here and you can add the UV sphere as well, but Ico sphere is going to uh, do great job for this animation. So I'm just going to recommend you use the Ico sphere as well. I'm just going to move this top here. Then I'm just going to subdivide this Ico sphere, pressing the Control two, and from here we can increase the level two as well. And then we'll add the shade smooth as well. So here you can see now we have a a smooth Ico sphere here. I'm just going to scale this little bit, something like that. And I'm just going to keep it here, okay? Yeah, that's look fine. So now I'm just going to add the soft body physics on it. So before adding the soft body physics, make sure you apply the scale because maybe sometime your settings will not work same exactly whatever I'm going to show you here. So the reason behind it, maybe you didn't apply the scale because sometime it's counter scale on it origin point so maybe you can use this apply scale option okay so now i'm just going to the my physics tab from here and i'm just going to add the soft body and from here we don't need to change anything from this ob object section because that mass value is fine and friction is as well and we'll just uh, uh, uncheck this goal first of all then we'll enable this our edge settings and from here we'll just increase some settings so i'm just going to increase a little bit uh, value from the here and uh, we can increase the damping uh, we can increase the bending value one okay so and you don't need to change anything from the here now just you have to just play the animation so i'm just going to play the animation 
and here you can see now we don't have any kind of collision that's why it's going to spare that uh, ball okay so first of all we have to add the uh, collision on all of these objects so i'm just going to add the collision from the here here also and on the plane as well okay so now if i will play the animation so here you can see that ball will be react very nicely and we have a very good stiffness here and you can see but uh, that animation is not looking cool so we have to change the position of this uv spare iq spare sorry so we can keep it here first of all and we can decrease the height basically yeah so now it's looking fine to me okay that animation is going very nicely and it's uh, colliding with the this wall very nicely okay i think that's look fine and if you want to do any changes so you can just change the position of this icosphere you will get some other animation as well okay so here you can see if i'll change this the position here you can see we have a better animation here yeah that's look fine okay so first of all i'm just going to save this file so i'm just going to save this file first of all and save it okay and now i'm just going to uh, open my cache setting from here and i'm just going to bake this so for making this animation i'm just going to keep this end frame by default to 50 and i'm just going to hit the bake and here you can see now if i will play the animation so it's looking very nicely yeah so i think i'm happy with this animation so now we are going to do move forward uh, to the next step so we are going to add the particle system on it so first of all i'm just going to to my particle section from here now now i'm just going to add the one new particle from this plus sign and here you can see we have to change this emitter to the here first of all so here you can see we have a here in our ball so i'm just going to decrease this and keep it one yeah one is look fine to me okay and uh, we can uh, click on this advanced setting also first of all and then we'll just go to my our hair dynamic okay so make sure you check this hair dynamic because if you will not check this hair dynamic so you will not get this effect so i'm just going to show you the difference without hair dynamic and with hair dynamic so here you can see if i'll play the animation so we don't have any kind of animation in our hair okay here you can see it look like a very spongy spongy but it's not going to uh, according to our animation so we have to uh, enable our hair dynamic from the hair and here you can see when i will enable the hair dynamic it's going to very nicely with this animation and it's looking more realistic so make sure you enable this hair dynamic first of all okay so now i'm just going to open this hair dynamic settings and we'll go to our structure settings and from here we need to change something so first of all i'm just going to uh, add this stiffness one okay and i will increase some random values as well so we can keep it 5 0 0.5 as well and decrease little bit dumping okay so maybe 3 is fine to me let's see how it's looking yeah so that's look fine to me that look great i think and here you can see our uh, animation is showing little slow because uh, due to these particles it's okay okay and we'll see some other settings so we don't need change anything into this hair dynamic section so make sure you close it so now i'm just going to um, go to my children section first of all and i'm just going to add this children to the simple and here you can see when i change this children to simple so here you can see we have a lots of hair in our uh, scene our balls because here you can see it's showing the 10 and render amount is a hundred so it's going to divide one particle into the 10 times so and it's showing into the render uh, amount as a hundred okay so first of all i'm just going to change this to the uh, 50 okay and from the viewport display i'm just going to decrease the amount of this okay and don't worry about it this is only for the viewport display nothing for anything else okay yeah so first one i'm just going to uh, switch my rendering mode to the cycle and gpu and enable my viewport reason behind it why i uh, change my uh, render engine because we have to see the roots first of all so we'll go to the our hair shape 
and from here we'll see some routes so we can see on the uh, render view so here you can see right now these routes and these here are looking too much thick so we have to decrease the these thickness so first of all i'm just going to decrease this 0.2 yeah i think that's look more realistic now okay and i think we don't need change anything but we can change from the roughness section so we have to increase some uniform values so i think 12 is fine to me and you can increase little bit shape also okay you can see from here as well and you can increase some random values as well okay random values basically uh, turn the particles to randomly here you can see yeah okay something like that and uh, we will increase um, we will de decrease little bit clamp okay and increase the shape yeah I think that's look fine and I think we don't need change anything to here and one more thing we need to do which is basically we have to go to our uh, render settings okay and make sure you enable your B spline but before you enable the B spline you have to go your display section make sure you enable the these step also so it will look more smooth here you can see that's look fine to me okay so i think we done all setting of this the uh, particles okay and now we are all done so here you can see we can play the animation once we can see how it's looking by the way so if i'll play the animation so here you can see that's look fine so first of all make sure you can decrease the um, length of these hairs so i think that's look fine okay we can do one more thing yeah that is looking fine to me so now i'm just going to add the material on it so for adding the material first of all i'm just going to delete this point light and switch my rendering mode and uh, from the world settings i'm just going to increase my world to the white something like that then I'm just going to add the material on this wall first of all I'm just going to use the yellow color okay something like that and uh, leave it everything by default we can just add the material if we want yeah that's look fine and after that I'm just going to add the material on this ball so I'm just going to add this material uh, as a red color okay then I will in add one more material and uh, put name as a here okay after that i'm just going to split my window and going to my uh, shader editor section from here i'm just going to uh, add one warnoy texture yeah warnoy texture after that i'm just going to uh, plug this to the base color i'm just going to add one color ramp node color ramp yeah i'm just going to place in between here then I'm just going to change the color first of all this one I'm going to change to the uh, yellow I think yeah we can use the red one little red and I'm just going to use this one to the blue so here you can see that's look fine to me I think we don't need to change anything if you want to change some settings you want to change the scale so you can change from the here if you want to increase and decrease the randomness that's up to you okay but that's color look fine to me so first of all i'm just going to close this window then i'm just going to select this icosphere then i'm just going to my particle settings from the render settings i'm just going to change this material as a here so here you can see right now we can't see in the material here because we have to increase our display amount from the here so I think now we can see so here you can see now we have a nice uh, color in our hair okay so everything is done now okay everything is done now now I'm just going to set my camera view so first one I'm just going to take one view then I'm just going to press the control alt 0 then I will press the N and I'm just going to unlock my camera 
and I'm just going to set my view according to my animation so I think we have to play the animation first and see it how it's looking I think that's looked fine to me yeah we can increase the stair scale a little bit yeah that look fine and we can increase the array value from the here yeah okay so everything is done now now I'm just going to bake my particle uh, animation as well I'm just going to make essay option from here I'm just going to hit the bake so here you can see our baking is done let's see once more so that animation is looking fine and that's animation look cool to me now I'm just going to take a render so for taking the render I'm just going to uh, to my render property section and from here I'm just going to set my output file I'm just give the name of your file so I'm just going to save this file uh, name as a uh, here simulation animation yeah okay then click on accept so here I'm just going to tell you one thing which is so important to all of you guys make sure you select your file format as a PNG don't put any kind of video format because if you will put the any kind of video format maybe in between your render time and in between your render maybe blender will be crash so you will lost your all animation or render so don't do this mistake because if you will set as a PNG so after crashing yeah maybe in between crashing your blender during your render so you have your render uh, frames which is you don't need to uh, re-render so you have to just start your animation where your blender gonna crash okay you can just restart your animation from there and you can restart your uh, render from there okay from that frame by the way so that's it okay and uh, you don't need to change anything you have to, after that you have to go your render properties and from the here from the light path you have to just uh, uncheck this reflective and refractive that's it okay and you have to just go to your render setting and click on the render animation and here you can see our rendering is the start and uh, after completing your render you will see uh, something like that I'm just going to show you again so that's how you can create this soft body particle animation in the blender with the help of the soft body and the particle system and i hope you guys are enjoying this video and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries then let me know in the comment box i will, def will definitely reply your comments so bye bye take care and stay home guys